So we're about to do a uh, software update on the SL2115 G2 that's installed in our training room. Uh, the software for all the boilers between the G2s and G3s are all compatible with each other. So what that means is you can keep one piece of software on a USB stick on your keychain. If you're ever in the field and need to update a boiler, it's a really simple process that we're going to show you right now. So the first step doing the actual update is just to touch the screen. Once I've touched the screen, I need to go into the diagnostics, which is my second last option. Once I select Diagnostics, I then need to go into Advanced Diagnostics, which is the second last option. Once I'm into the Advanced Diagnostics, I need to go to Software Update, which is third down. Once I select the Software Update, I need to actually decide how I'm doing the update. There are three options. Uh, one would be Internet if you're connected to the Internet. The other two would be an SD card or a USB. On the side of the boiler, I actually have the two ports. So I have the USB port and the SD card port. As we discussed, I actually keep a USB with the software on my keychain. So I'm going to plug that in. You can see it's now flashing red, which in indicates it has a good connection. On the actual boiler itself, now I'm going to want to do is hit the USB option. And it tells me it has updated four new updates. At that point, all I need to do is select yes and then hit OK. And what will happen is it will download all the latest updates. It'll reboot the actual boiler itself and you now have the latest software. This entire process takes about 10 minutes to update and then you're away to the races.